Ah, good evening, and welcome to the Raven House of Mysterious Happenings. <laughs> and there are plenty of mysterious happenings in our movie review for tonight. Have you ever wondered about fate, destiny, or free will? What do they mean? Do they even exist? Are we destined to travel a certain pathway in life? Or is our life simply a series of random events? And more importantly, do you ever feel like you are being watched? Maybe by a man in a gray suit and hat? <laughs> well, these questions and many, many others are addressed in the movie we are reviewing today. So, let us peek behind the curtain and see what we can see. The Adjustment Bureau. Now, this film is a romantic thriller from Universal Pictures, and it stars Matt Damon as David Norris. David Norris is a young congressman who's running for the United States Senate, and he meets a woman named Elise, played by Emily Blunt. And at first, he's very intrigued by her, and when he meets her again, and you know, a couple of years later, um, they strike up a conversation. Uh, she gives him his phone number, and he thinks he might have met, you know, like the woman of his dreams. He's not sure, but it definitely feels that way. So then, one day, when uh, Matt Damon goes to work, uh, he sees a colleague of his frozen in time, and a group of uh, uh, men in suits and hats, just like doing some kind of experiment on him, and you know, Matt Damon saying, hey, what are you doing? And the leader of these men say, grab him. And these men uh, chase you know, Matt Damon through the building, are able to corner him, and they take him through a special door that seems to teleport them to a warehouse where um, these men you know, step forward and say they are of the Adjustment Bureau, and they work for the chairman. And they tell Matt Damon that you know, he has a destiny uh, in life to uh, go far in politics, and Elise has a uh, uh, destiny, her own destiny, to uh, do well as a uh, dancer and a choreographer, but that their destinies don't include, you know, the two of them together, so they're making an adjustment to make sure that they don't uh, meet. Now, this raises some interesting questions for Matt Damon, mainly about, you know, well, is there no free will? Everything is preset for me. I don't believe that. And he's determined to uh, meet up with uh, Emily Blunt again and, uh, you know, pretty much uh, control his own destiny. Um, and I don't want to give away too many of the plot points. Uh, this this story is, this, this film is a great film. It has a great story. At the heart of it, it's a love story. It's, uh, you know, you know, can, you know, two people you know, find, you know, love even though their destinies are, they're not meant to be. And it's just, it raises an interesting question about, you know, destiny uh, over free will. Uh, Matt Damon uh, in the lead does a great job. He's a great actor and in this film is, is no exception. It's also the first time he really gets to do a romantic lead and he does, you know, he does it very well. He's, you know, he's, a, you know, he's, you know, his acting is good and, you know, you just, you really want to pull for pull from. He does a great job. Emily Blunt, she's very charming. She's very beautiful. She does a, you know, she does a very good job as always. And her character goes through quite a few ranges of emotion. She doesn't, you know, she doesn't understand anything about the Adjustment Bureau. All she knows is, you know, sometimes Matt Damon is there in her life and sometimes he's not and she doesn't fully understand. Uh, there is one member of the Adjustment Bureau named uh, Harry, who's played by Anthony Mackey. He's kind of sympathetic to Matt Damon's dilemma, and he actually wants to help him. And there's also uh, a member of the Adjustment Bureau who's played by Terrence Stamp, and he's kind of a specialist in making sure people stay on their destiny path. And he kind of, you know, at first the film is kind of a kind of a novel premise with this idea of, you know, these you know these men in in, in suits and hats kind of 
you know, making adjustments to pe- you know, to make certain people's lives go a certain direction. But when Matt Damon really kind of defies these, this adjustment bureau, uh, Terrence Stamp is called in, and it gets serious. I mean, he really steps up uh, the game and, and really kind of makes Matt Damon have to work for it. Um, the heart of the film is very much a love story. It's, uh, you know, you know, can can this uh, can this romance work? It's also got plenty of thrills. Um, it's a good, you know, it, it works on a lot of different levels. It's kind of a hard film to really pin down, but it's definitely a love story. It's definitely got some thriller elements. Um, the look of the of the men in hats gives it kind of a '60s spy thriller paranoia look. Um, but also, it's like even supernatural or even sci-fi. I mean, are these people from the future? Are they some kind of uh, paranormal force? Are they angels? We really don't know. Um, the film, you know, definitely gives us the whole story, but there's a lot of things that kind of left to our imagination as the viewer, and I think that's actually a good thing, kind of lets you kind of fill in the little details by yourself. Um, I, but I really love the film. It's a great film. Um, plenty of mystery elements in it, particularly as, you know, the more the story goes, the more we learn what's happening. So, you know, overall, I, I can highly recommend it. It's a great film, and, you know, it's very, you know, it's very moving. It, it really does tell, really has a good message about, about just, you know, human beings in general. So, definitely have a chance to see it. It's definitely worth seeing. Well, that's about it. Thank you, as always, for listening. 